Nah. Friday the 31st of October 189463 I'm gonna zero out uh, and it's uh, 921 doesn't focus and uh, heading out Keep on trucking t-shirt and uh, with my hole and um, make sure this thing's all the way out. Oh, that's my sky. It's supposed to rain later on, so I'm going to be heading out to a uh, Halloween show at the range in Slab City. So I'm stoked to go out there and see everybody and uh, take some video and come back and post it on YouTube. So. Here I go, 922, zero miles, starting up. Got my tires balanced. Put a new timing belt in this bad girl, Sacagawea. There's her, uh, I've had this postcard here ever since I bought it. That's my honorary homage to Sacagawea, so here I am heading out to the slabs for the Halloween show. See you soon. Okay, so here's what I picked up eight. It's 2.7 miles. And four mile, four minutes into the trip. straight about 240 245 it's 147 miles I think 48 maybe just about 150 so I'm at 3.6 and it's uh, 930 exactly so we'll see 10 30 11 30 12 Maybe 12.15, 12.30, I'll get there. So that's what it looks like. Looking east. Coming into El Cajon, El Cajon Zone. It's uh, 16 miles. I hit 20 right around. Exactly, I took off at uh, 9.30, half hour in uh, 34 minutes, according to that thing, and 33 miles. You're a little rainy, I don't know if it's the wind or something mechanical. Keep us posted here. Okay, so here's my 50 mile mark. Tits 
17, 51 minutes into the trip. Buckingham Springs, Kimbo. How about this little spot? Ridiculous damn light. I think 
this is the only light you really encounter. I think there might be one more, but I think this is it. 108. 11, 13, like I said, just a little bit up the ways. Okay, then uh, when you hit uh, Westmoreland, there's one more stop the right. stop sign up the ways. But, uh, this is it. 110 miles. straight away but for a few kinks in the road. A one stop light. I got a stop sign in Westmoreland. That's about it. 27 miles. Not a So two hours basically to get to this point. And, uh, this is where you run into two stop signs. This one and the one on 78 which runs here. So you can turn left at 78 and head over. Threw me off for just a couple minutes, but here's the post office in Westmoreland. So right, 86. Turn left. It takes you on the uh, west side of Salton Sea. Turn right. Take you up to 111, which is the east side of the Salton Sea. So we got a little Circle K. So, oh three stop signs. You come into town, middle of town, and on the other end of town. So 125 miles. I said I should get there at 134. So 207. Time I took to get here. It's 11.33. came down 78 and picked up the 86, you could turn left on Bannister, get to this point right here instead of taking 78 all the way into town. It wouldn't be off that by that much, but it's a cool little way to go. It's coming this direction from uh, Julian, drop down Banner Grade, come out 78. slabs that way. It's a point. It's a little point. I went, uh, here's uh, where I ran off the road one night. Here's the one little spot, which is what, at 127 at Walker Road. There you uh, just keep following the line. One of the major little Kinks, bends, 
dog leg in the road. And um, this bad boy is just out of Westmoreland. So he's still going straight. And just taking a little bend in the road. As you see right here. And that's where you basically go to uh, Gentry. That's what it is. It becomes Gentry. It was uh, Forrester Road. And Main Street through Westmoreland. And then, uh, just about turns into Gentry. Which takes you up to Sinclair. I'll show you up here in a moment. And that's at 128 miles. 1137 to 11 into the road trip. Alright, so here's one spot where I really want folks to take note. At this little turn right here, this goes into Calipatria. At, uh, See right here. Now you can go that way if you want to go into town, but I go straight. Just kind of keep going straight right through here at uh, Eden's E D D I N S. It's one spot where you'll deviate and continue going straight for another uh, 131 for about another three miles, three four miles. Here's the geothermal plants. Here's one of them. Here's another. And there's another way up there. There's still another one way over there. So, oh, there's five of them in total, but. Uh, goes for uh, I think it was like six miles so 134 should hit the end of the road at about 140 
way. 350. Two hours and 25 minutes into the trip. You hit 111 here. And you hang a left, heading north. We're east on Sinclair. Straight it takes you up to the prison, which is right up that way. Just, uh, what is it, three miles or so up the road is an island. So just keep going straight. And uh, if you look to the right, I can see it just barely. Up there is a little white blotch. Let's see. I can see it from this far, but I can North. So as we're approaching an island, unless you want to go a little bit further up the road to the market, get stocked up, the easier way to get back into the slabs, and I will show you as you come into town here, you see a bunch of signage. Right here, there's a little sign that says Island. And you're going to bend to the right instead of going into town. When you get to the welcome to the Island, bend to the right. You go through the outskirts into the residential area. metropolis of Nylon, hustling and bustling. So I'll show you right up here. So anyway, yeah, 143 and a half, uh, 1155, two and a half hours to get to this point. But for one minor stop to change film, oh, I should have got video of her. So here's some of your Nylanders. There's a major crossroad, like six points. And then you got this old Macropolis. So, when you get to uh, Main Street here, you turn left, you can go back into town. All I got to do is turn right here and head up to the tracks. I got people here always set up for little yard sales. So, you come up here and you cross the tracks. Hopefully there's no trains coming, otherwise they may be waiting me long. It's a little bumpy. Trains coming. Oh, I do see a train coming. See it? Here it comes. track. We're going to pass this new power plant up here. Some slabbers. So, yeah, you'll pass this new power station here. Take a picture right here of that guy, Elector. This power plant, which was built just a year or two ago, and then 44.7, 158, 
I hear a little head of my uh, approximate time. Oh, geez, 30, 2 hours 33 minutes. It's just about noon. You gotta watch out for these dips. They'll get you. Especially right here. Let me show you if you got a big vehicle. Come up over this thing. Right in here, if you're hauling the butt, this dip right here, and right here. So slow your roll, especially right here. Otherwise, you're going to go flying. So, your first real indication of coming in to the slabs. This little sentry station kiosk, whatever you want to call it. Uh, right in there is where you go for your shower. Right down there, Slap City Showers. And uh, I guess I will show you as we go up here. And as you roll up here, Coming up on Salvation Mountain, you'll see these little cement tanks right here on your right hand side. If you turn right into here, because right behind this tank right here is where the uh, hot springs is. I take you in there, but uh, I just wanted to show you. This is where you turn to get in the hot springs. And as you drive in, you come upon Salvation Mountain. So looks like coming in. suppose you would call this the official entrance to Slab City. You get to the Century booth. You're there. As you can see. Welcome to Slab City. So just a little bit further in. Take you into the range. This is it, folks. Here in the slabs. And if you want to, you can add your shoe to the shoe tree collection. But anyway, yeah, it's 147 miles. I think I forgot that. 12.04. Two hours and 39 minutes to get here. There's the art car. Church. Here's the main There's a signpost. I had a card up there. I'll put another one. It's behind that sign right there. Should still be there. But anyway, there's the sign. Kind of the crossroads. You can turn right and go down to the Lowe's and the Oasis Club, or continue straight and uh, a short distance ahead on your right hand side, you will see a sign. 
two signs. Now, arrange. Here it is. place to myself so I can take some pictures. But here it is folks. The range. <laughs>